VectorBT is a Python package designed for quantitative analysis with a unique approach to backtesting. It relies on pandas and NumPy objects and utilizes Namba for acceleration, allowing for high speed and scalable analysis of large datasets. Unlike other backtesters, VectorBT represents complex data as structured NumPy arrays, facilitating fast computation through vectorized operations with NumPy and dynamically compiled operations with Namba. The package integrates Plotly and Jupyter widgets to create interactive charts and dashboards directly in the Jupyter Notebook, similar to Tableau. Thanks to its high performance, VectorBT can handle extensive data processing without the need for GPU or parallelization, providing users with quick interactions with data-heavy widgets. VectorBT allows you to backtest strategies with just a few lines of Python code, combine the Python ecosystem with the speed of C for efficient analysis, maintain complete control over execution and data. Unlike web-based services, such as TradingView, optimize trading strategies across various parameters, assets, and time periods simultaneously, discover concealed patterns in financial markets, analyze time series, and create new features for machine learning models, enhance the performance of pandas and other preferred tools for faster execution, and visualize strategy performance through interactive charts and dashboards accessible in both Jupyter Notebooks and web browsers. Why use VectorBT as your backtesting package? VectorBT unique merges a high-speed backtester with data science capabilities. It excels in processing performance and provides interactive tools for efficient exploration of numerous strategy configurations, time periods, and instruments. This allows users to quickly identify optimal strategy performance and discover hidden patterns in data, potentially offering a trading advantage. How does VectorBT work? VectorBT improves backtesting efficiency by representing each trading strategy instance in a vectorized form. This enables multiple instances to be be processed in a single multi-dimensional array, enhancing speed and comparability. Unlike traditional object-oriented programming approaches, which are easier to write but harder to analyze, vectorization translates most backtesting aspects into vectors. Namba resolves path dependency issues, allowing iterative code and slow Python loops to run at native machine code speed. VectorBT enables efficient tuning of complex strategies with numerous parameters by offering interpolation capabilities. It handles both single and multiple strategy instances, seamlessly allowing analysis of concatenated vectors in a matrix, provided there is sufficient memory. For example, it facilitates fetching the price of Bitcoin. In this example, we import NumPy as NP, Pandas as PD, Daytime, VectorBT as VBT. We define our start and end dates, then we use the VBT wireF data download method to download price data for Bitcoin, and we save it in the BBC underscore price variable. Testing a dual moving average crossover or DMAC strategy involves using the MA class to calculate moving averages and generate signals. The initial test is straightforward. Buying occurs when the 10 day moving average crosses above the 20 day moving average, and selling occurs when the opposite happens. We first define our fast moving average and then our slow moving average by using the VBT MA run method and passing in the BTC price, the number of days for which we want to calculate the moving average, and the short name parameter for fast and slow moving averages. Then we use the MA underscore crossed above method of fast MA to which we pass the parameter slow MA, and this will generate our Boolean entries. If we take a look at the entries variable, we can see that the index is formed out of date timestamps and we have a Boolean column with false and true indicating whether there was a crossing for the entries. Meanwhile to calculate the exits we use the MA underscore cross below method of fast MA to which we pass the slow MA. We're gonna obtain a similar result in this case for the exits with timestamps and the boolean column indicating the exits. Now that we have our entry and our exit signals we can simply use the VBT dot portfolio dot from signals method to which we pass the BTC price, the entries and exits boolean column and then we run the total underscore return method, which should return how well our strategy performs. For DMAC, each strategy instance results in a signal column and the corresponding performance value. Adding more instances is achieved by adding columns, where an array of window sizes is passed instead of a single value. The code computes moving averages for each window size over the entire price series, storing them in distinct columns. In this case, our multiple strategy instances will have the 10 and 30 as as well as the 20 and 30 moving average windows. We first define our fast MAs by executing vbt.ma.run to which we press the BTC price and the lists with the number of days.
is 10 and 20 and then the short name parameter in this case is fast for the fast MAs we do a similar thing with the slow MAs in this case the number of days we pass will be a list containing the number 30 twice and the short name parameter set to slow once again we use the MA underscore crossed above method of fast MA to generate the entry signals and the MA cross below a fast MA method of fast MA to generate the exit signals. Then we pass the Bitcoin price, the entries and exits to the from signals method once again, and we run the total underscore return method to get the final performance of the strategies. Vector BT simplifies the process by creating column levels like fast underscore window and slow underscore window for easy window size identification. The signal generation remains consistent across examples as Vector BT functions seamlessly work with time series of any shape, enabling the creation of universal analysis pipelines. The diverse representation of features as columns opens up numerous backtesting possibilities. Extending the analysis to Ethereum involves combining Bitcoin and Ethereum series into one data frame and applying the same backtesting pipeline for comparison. We once again use the vbt.yfdata.download method to download the Ethereum price. Then we use the .vbt.concat method of BTC price to combine the data with the Ethereum price data and we store it in the comp price variable. We once again define our fast moving averages and our slow moving averages followed by defining our entries and exit signals. And last but not least we create our portal portfolio from signals from the combined price as well as the entry and exit signals and once we apply the total return method we should obtain our results for Bitcoin and Ethereum. We can further calculate the mean total return for each of the two signals Bitcoin and Ethereum and plot them using VectorBT's plotting functionality. VectorBT extends beyond strategies and instruments also incorporating time as a distinct feature. To identify optimal strategy performance across various time periods VectorBT enables backtesting over multiple periods. It allows splitting a single time period into multiple columns, provided they share the same length and frequency. For instance, the code can split the overall time period into two equal segments and backtest them simultaneously. We can use the vbt.rangeSplit method of comp price to split the data into two periods and we store the result in the molt comp price variable. We then once again calculate our fast moving averages, our slow moving averages, our entry and exit signals. We use the portfolio.from signals method and the total return method to create our portfolio and calculate our performance. In this case, we'll be split based on the two periods that we created. With multiple captured time periods, the index is no longer daytime like. Therefore, passing the frequency to the portfolio class becomes necessary necessary for computing metrics like the Sharpe ratio. The hierarchical index of the resulting performance series allows grouping by various features such as window pair, symbol and time period. We can once again use VectorBT's plotting functionality to plot the mean total return for each symbol and for each time period. VectorBT goes beyond column stacking in backtesting. It provides functions for various stages in the backtesting pipeline, including building indicators, generating signals, modeling portfolio performance, and visualizing results. VectorBT accelerates pandas functions, including mapping, reducing, rolling, grouping, and resampling to compile versions for optimal performance using NumPy and Numba. It adds a custom accessor on top of pandas for seamless switching between pandas and VectorBT functionality. Flexible broadcasting in VectorBT allows for efficient broadcasting of array-like objects with arbitrary shapes, including pandas objects with multi-index. VectorBT provides pandas utilities that encompass grouping columns, wrapping NumPy arrays, transforming pandas objects and their indices, and additional functionalities. VectorBT facilitates data acquisition by supporting various providers like Yahoo Finance, Binance, CCXT, and Alpaca. It enables merging multiple signals with different indexes and facilitates updates. VectorBT supports various data generators, including GBM, Geometric Brownian Motion, for the generation of diverse random data. VectorBT allows for scheduled data updates, enabling periodic updates for any previously downloaded data. VectorBT facilitates data preparation for 
for transformation, rescaling, and normalization. It provides custom splitters for cross-validation, including support for scikit-learn splitters like k-folds cross-validation. VectorBT supports labeling for machine learning, offering both discrete and continuous label generation for effective training of machine learning models. In terms of indicators, VectorBT provides a wide range of technical indicators, including moving averages, Bollinger Bands, RSI, Stochastic, MACD, and more, all with full Numba support. It seamlessly integrates with 99% of the indicators in the Technical Analysis Library, Pandas TA, and TA Lib due to built-in parsers. Each individual indicator is wrapped with VectorBT's engine, allowing for flexible hyperparameter combinations ranging from arrays to Cartesian products. The Indicator Factory in VectorBT is a powerful tool for constructing custom technical indicators of any complexity. By taking a function, it automatically generates an indicator skeleton capable of handling inputs and parameters of various shapes and types. This feature, running on VectorBT's indicator engine, provides the easiest and most flexible method for creating indicators available in open source. In terms of signals, VectorBT offers comprehensive signal analysis encompassing the generation, mapping and reducing, ranking and distribution analysis of entry and exit signals. VectorBT includes signal generators with full Namba support, offering random and stop loss, SL, TSL, TP, etc. signal generators for efficient signal creation. The signal factory in VectorBT is derived from the indicator factory, specifically designed for iterative signal generation, providing a specialized tool for creating signals. In terms of modeling, VectorBT boasts the fastest open source backtesting engine, achieving order filling in 70 to 100 milliseconds for 1 million orders on Apple M1 processing chip. It offers highly optimized and flexible simulation functions for portfolio modeling with the lowest memory footprint. The engine supports two major simulation modes. One, vectorized backtesting using user-provided arrays like orders, signals, and records. And two, event-driven backtesting with user-defined callbacks. The class supports shorting and both individual and multi-asset mixed portfolios, consolidating various features across VectorBT into a single powerful entity. VectorBT provides Namba compiled versions of performance metrics, including those from empirical and their rolling versions. It includes an adapter for quant stats, enhancing the calculation and analysis of performance metrics. The Stats Builder in VectorBT is a class designed for constructing statistics from custom metrics. It implements a set of predefined statistics tailored for various backtesting components, including signals, returns, and portfolios. VectorBT introduces in-house data structures, records, and mapped arrays tailored for analyzing complex data like simulation logs. These structures are fully compiled with Namba, ensuring efficient and high-performance analysis. VectorBT enables trade analysis through retrospective examination from multiple viewpoints. It supports the analysis of entry trades, exit trades, and positions for a comprehensive understanding of trading performance. VectorBT facilitates drawdown analysis by providing drawdown statistics for any numeric time series, enhancing the evaluation of performance metrics. In terms of plotting, VectorBT offers a multitude of flexible data plotting functions distributed across its platform, enhancing data visualization capabilities. VectorBT provides custom interactive figures and widgets using Plotly, including features like heat map and volume. All custom widgets have dedicated methods for efficient state updates, enhancing interactive visualization capabilities. The Plots Builder in VectorBT is a class designed for constructing plots from custom subplots. It implements a set of predefined subplots tailored for various backtesting components, including signals, returns, and portfolios. VectorBT supports notifications through a Telegram bot built on Python Telegram bot, facilitating communication and updates in real time. VectorBT includes general utilities, such as scheduling using schedule, templates, decorators, configs, and additional functionalities for enhanced flexibility and ease of use. VectorBT provides caching capabilities through property and method decorators, optimizing the performance of frequently used objects in the code. And finally, VectorBT offers persistence features, where most Python objects, including data and portfolios, can be saved to a file and later retrieved using DIL, providing a convenient method for storage 
exploring and reusing objects. If you've enjoyed this video so far, it will really help me a lot if you subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button and hitting the notification bell. I know most of you are not subscribed already, so you might miss out on any future content that I will release on this channel. Please subscribe today. Thank you. I recently created a Patreon account for the Data Science channel. At the moment, I create my videos in my spare time while also working a full-time job. Having a Patreon would allow me to receive donations from people like you who have enjoyed the videos that I've produced so far and will help me improve the quality and the frequency of the videos that I post on the channel.